Hey everybody, this is going to be a video of unboxing and my first use of this Cephaly device. This device is supposed to help prevent migraines, which I suffer from, um, probably for the last decade now. So I decided to try this. It is kind of expensive, it's about $400, not including shipping. So let's see what in, comes in the box. So when you first get the device, it comes all in this box and the box will tell you what's inside of it so make sure everything that it says here is actually inside the box. If you're missing anything, contact, contact the company that you bought it from. So the device itself is actually pretty small. I was surprised on how small it was. Um, this is the second version of their device I believe so it's a lot smaller and compact. It comes with instruction manuals uh, for English and Spanish. And it comes with an instruction card, which is actually pretty helpful. Um, and I would keep that one in my little case that you're going to see in a bit. So this case is actually pretty nice. I'm glad it did come with a protective case for it. It houses the charging cord and the wall portion of it. So here is what goes into the wall and here's the cord. It's actually a retractable cord which I might end up using for my phone just because it's going to be near my bed probably. But it's the same port so that's kind of useful. And so it comes with one electrode these are normally, I believe, $25 each. They do last an entire month, supposedly. We will find out. <laughs> so the card says the first session with Cephaly. It's supposed to cleanse the skin on your forehead, stick the electrode onto the forehead, and make sure it's leveled with your eyebrows, I think. And then the other side, you can start treatment, you press it once, and then you press it again to control the intensity. So here's the electrodes on it. It's magnetic, so it goes straight onto the electrode piece actually sticking in your head. So the directions does say it has to be fully charged before use. So now I charged it all night to make sure that it was fully charged. Um, this is how the electric look, electrode looks when you take it out of its package. It does have two places for the magnet to grab onto. And it's pretty sticky, so let's see how it does on my actual head. Be right back. Okay, so... Excuse my no makeup, but I feel it tingling here and here initially, and now I just kind of feel it like pulsating. I hope that makes sense. It's not uncomfortable for me. It makes me want to itch, but it's not uncomfortable. And it says if it becomes too intense, I can press it one more time to stabilize it and it's getting much more intense right now. I feel it kind of like here, mostly. Which is interesting because most of my head hurts on this side. Not right, well, kind of right now, but in general. Yeah, I'll update you later. Bye. Okay, I'm back. So what's interesting is that this side of my head hurts normally and it actually tingles mostly here. A lot of it on my eyebrows, but mostly here. What's weird too is that if I touch here, it tingles over here. Don't know why. But it's supposed to stay on for 20 minutes. I did already press it to stabilize it. That means it's gonna stop at that intensity and continue on the whole time. Tomorrow I may stop it before it gets to this point because this is gonna be a very long 20 minutes. But it doesn't hurt. It's just weird. Anyway, bye.